All right, what's up, boys? CEO of One, how are you guys? So I have been asked about the big system for a long time now. You guys have been wanting to know about this, and I think we've done seven or eight videos on the channel so far, so I think you're about ready for the big system. It sounds crazy, right? Now, you may notice it's in here with a pallet. Uh, that's just so that I can put everything in here quickly and easily and just keep the tank in, and it keeps it from rolling around whether it is still full or if it's empty, because uh, sometimes I may finish a job and there's still 12 to 24 gallons of juice in here that I don't want splashing around and moving in the truck. So let's get started. How easy is this? This tank is from Northern Tool and Equipment. Uh, I went into one of their stores and this was a return from an online purchase. I recognized it from Spencer Clay's video about his system, which is essentially this system. Uh, this right now online is on clearance for like $47. It's normally $99 for the tank. Uh, again, I think they're changing how they design the tank, so it's going to be $47 on clearance. This pump is the North Star um, series. It's a 12-volt pump. This one is the 5.5 gallon per minute, 60 PSI pump. It looks like the item number is 285 Nah, five five six one or some shit like that but you'll find it it's on northern tools website it's made by north star which is northern tools tool company i believe pretty simple pretty standard 12 volt plug-in um the pump comes separate from the tank to attach the pump to the tank you will need 10 by 24 machine screws uh, there's four of them that attach this to this uh, this is simply three-eighths, I believe, and a fitting, a brass fitting. I'll go into detail on the fittings and stuff on how to build this later on. But what you need to understand is what we're doing is allowing ourselves a big enough tank to be able to pump out our sodium hypochlorite water mixture at 1% to 2% to wash a house, 5% to treat a driveway, 5% to treat a roof, um, you know, before you, uh, you know. So, again... The pump is 159 after tax was right at 200. Some stores have one of these pumps or two of these pumps in the store. I did find this one in the store on the shelf with a catalog item. So that's a plus. It makes it a little easier. You do want at least the 5.5. I've used the 2.2 gallon pump from the 16 gallon system. Even on this size tank, it works fine, but you don't get quite as much reach when you're spraying, which is what you need if you're spraying a high enough up house. Um, I'll go over some hacks on how to do that without a ladder and reach up to the top. Even if your pump doesn't have the power to get up there, you can do it with like a window washer's pole. I have a 20 foot pole that I use. Uh, so this is, like I said, some 3.8 tubing I got at Home Depot. The brass fittings are at Home Depot. This is a hose pipe extender type thing that I put on there just so that if I'm moving around with my hose walking around the house, I don't accidentally yank on it and hurt the pump. It gives a little, little bit of give. Uh, so fluid comes here out of the tank through the pump out of here, which I've rigged again This pump isn't made to be used with garden hoses, but with these brass fittings We rigged it to take the through you know this tubing in for its input and we've sent it out through an adapter Good tip for you to being a man is learn to adapt and adapters are great at that So we're using an adapter here and here and here and here out to here, out to a hose, quick connect onto a garden hose. I have 200 feet of garden hose that I connect to this that I can walk around the house and treat the house with sodium hypochlorite. Usually I'll let it dwell five to 10 minutes before I start rinsing it off with water so that it doesn't damage the house or anything like that. Normally I or my helper, the guy I work with, will be watering down plants while the other person is treating, spraying the house. Uh, I have a couple of different wands I like to use. This is the standard right now for us. It's uh, on clearance at Home Depot. It's the turbo jet. It's the one seen on TV, although not for this purpose, but it does increase the hose pressure by 40%, which if you're rinsing and need to get up high, this is super helpful. Or if you're using this 12 volt system and you need to be able to Blast the bleachy stuff up high. This is what's up. There's a wand tip and there is a spray tip. The little bitty hole is the sprayer. The other one is the wand, unless they're both on wand. They're both on the fan tip wand. So, but you get the idea. Um, 
on the little side here, there's another tip you can put on. And that will make it, you know, easier because one, you can wand with this hose, quickly connect this one to reach the top of eaves or hard to reach areas. Again, you can just tape this onto the long extension pole, turn it on a little bit and send it up in the air to the top of the house as it leaks out old bleachy water. But yeah, these are the two. I've got a newer one that gives me a couple other ideas or uh, ways to treat houses. Same it gives you still the same fan spray and it gives you still the same jet to reach up high. But one of the other features the new wand has that I really like is mist. Now you might ask, why would you want to go slow and have a mist come out? Uh, when you do columns or pillars that hold up decks and stuff, um, usually they're thin. And if I hit it with this on the wand, on the fan spray, it's shooting like a six foot fan that is great for covering the side of a house. But for covering a four inch post, it's really bad. It sprays everything else over here, bushes, sidewalk, chairs, you name it. Um, so the mist lets you kind of just slowly go over these columns and it coats it in the nice mist. And that uses less of your material here, your spray. And it gets so that you're not just dousing everything on the other side of that post. Cause you've got four sides to the post to clean so that means as you rotate around, you might be spraying bushes over here. When you're over there spraying this way, you might be hitting their chairs or whatever's on the patio. So these are things to think of. But this tank, like I said, right now is 47 something on clearance at Northern Tool and Equipment. It's the 26 gallon tank. It may say the 24 gallon tank on there, but surely uh, past the little fill up line over here to the very top is 26 gallons. So keep that in mind. Like I said, 47, this is 159. So you're in about 200 there, um, maybe 250 tops. A couple of little brass pieces, about $8 a piece, maybe quick connect for $4 for the hose pipe. And this little hose extender was like four to $7 at Lowe's. So, um, I would say comfortably just the tank and pump and everything you're in about 300 probably. Now I use zero G hose from Lowe's. They are hundred foot sections. They're 79 feet a section and I have 300 feet. I have three sections. So $240 worth of hose. You don't have to have that much because 100 foot of that is my rinse hose. I use that from the customer's property to rinse off the house after I've treated it with the 200 feet of hose that come off of this system. This allows me to leave all this in my truck and not have to lug it around or roll it around in some big cart or anything. This, a 12 volt battery sits here. The connector cord, which is you can buy for these kits, sits right here, plugs in, so it's all battery. I turn the, you know, the pump switch on and then I can control the flow from the pump with the water. It will pressurize in the hose up to 60 PSI from this pump in the garden hose. Don't use cheap garden hose or you're going to break one. And if you break it and it dumps, you know, 20 gallons of sodium hypochlorite on your customer's lawn or garden, well, they're not going to be thrilled with the results of that outcome. So this is what I recommend. Um, you know, one of these type hoses, use good quality hose. Like I said, you could do probably a hundred foot of hose from this tank as long as you're close enough to whatever you're treating. Now I've done that before with a hundred foot hose in this tank and even the 16 gallon smaller tank, I'll show you another video. The problem is you have to be able to carry that around the customer's house with you. And it can be kind of heavy. The 16 gallon one fits kind of in a wheelbarrow. It's not good, but it fits a little bit and you can make it happen. It's tough to lift it when it's still full though. Um, this one doesn't fit in a wheelbarrow. It's a pain to move and it's easier to just leave it strapped in here all the time. Hopefully it doesn't ever get stolen because it's a pain in the ass to get it out of here. But again, uh, usually it's full of 20, 30 gallons of sodium hypochlorite water also, which would make it very difficult to move. Um, especially since these aren't actually handles, these are ATV things to hold it on the back of an ATV. So when two people try to lift the tank and it's full, you don't actually get any purchase on this. It's just soft plastic. There's nothing to grip onto. So uh, that's the big system, guys. This is how I can wash a house fast. Uh, even a big house, we did a one that was like 100 feet long in either direction the other day and maybe 15 to 20 feet across and then a big garden section and it had a small house garage thing, maybe four car garage on the side that was a separate unit, a separate 
uh, structure. We used this twice to do the entire house and the garage we did with pump up sprayers because it was easier. But uh, if we wanted, we could have moved the truck over there, used this thing and just, and it treated the entire, you know, this will treat, I mean, a one story, four car garage, separate outbuilding guys, you could treat that in 10 minutes all the way around thoroughly, even at the top of the roof areas with this system. Um, you get plenty of reach out of this. So anyways, I'm CEO of one. This is the 26 gallon big boy system minus the battery and the hoses, but I assure you they do exist. Uh, it's what's necessary to make this work. Uh, I'll do some more in-depth videos and I'm going to make another one of these for my business partner and best friend who needs one for his house at some point in case he ever gets some opportunities to do some work without me. That'll give him that and it'll show you guys how to make the system. Um, they are, like I said, changing the tanks. So it may be a new tank where the pump mounts on the side. I don't like that. It still theoretically works. It's still by the same people and it's their newest design which nothing was wrong with the old design. But again, uh, yeah, I'm CEO of one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to hear from y'all. Um, yeah, this is the system. Make sure if you get one and you do do this, you leave the top on as much as possible so you don't get leaves, debris, small children, birds, any of that stuff trapped in here because that'll clog your pump. Anyways, boys, I'm CEO of one. We'll see you next time.